Hey YouTube, it's Grace, and in this video I'll be showing you guys how I made a monarch butterfly painting. Recently I decided to branch out a little bit and try some more original paintings instead of just making Minecraft things just so that I don't get super burnt out. So if you're interested in seeing some of the other paintings that I've made, check out my Instagram. I post on there all the time. <laughs> also, if you have any questions or suggestions for other paintings you want me to make in the future, leave a comment down below and I will be sure to get back to you. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this painting. This is the photo I will be painting. It is 66 pixels tall and 84 pixels wide. And this is the canvas I'll be working with. It is 16 by 20 inches. This is the math that I use to figure out the height and width of each pixel. And I did round a little bit, but it shouldn't make too big of a difference. I just finished marking out all the lines, which hurt my brain a little bit more than I care to admit. Um, <laughs> but now it's time to connect them all. If you've seen any of my other painting videos, you'll know that I always add a layer of primer on top of my grid. Because if I don't, my arm ends up looking like this. And I definitely do not want to get lead everywhere. So I'm gonna do this next. Now that this is pretty much dry, I'm going to get a start on the color. Um, but first I'm going to do an outline with like a really dark gray, just so that I can map out exactly where the butterfly is. I have the outline done. Um, as you can see, I messed up a little bit, but I also decided to add antenna, which are not in the reference, but I think it would make the picture look better. So I just did that anyways. Um, but now I am blocking out the green and the pink. As you can see, I'm working on this part here. And yeah, that's what we're doing now. This is the progress I've made so far with blocking out the greens. I think right now I'm just focusing on mixing different shades of green just because the background is so blurred and there's a whole bunch of different ones. So for example, here, this green is more of like a spring green. This one is more of like a teal almost. And then this one's sort of in between. So that's what I'm mixing next. Now that this is mostly mapped out, I'm going to fill in a spot here, here, and here um, with this like light brown, tannish. I'm not sure exactly what to call this color. I finally finished the first coat of the background colors and I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to move on to the wings. And for that, I'm going to start by mixing a really dark orange and marking in all the lines. I just added the darkest and lightest oranges as you can see, so now I'm going to fill in the rest of it with sort of a medium orange. I officially have the first coat done now. All of the colors look really flat, um, but I will be adding a lot of details after the second coat. For the second coat, I'll just be adding another layer because the paint is pretty thin and just making some small changes to the colors. Now that I have the second coat mostly done, I'm gonna start blending in the background colors and then I'm gonna go ahead and add details on the butterfly itself. I'm gonna start by blending these two colors here. So I just mixed them in even parts. Now I'm taking the transition color and mixing that half and half with the green just to make it more of a gradient. I'm also taking the same transition color and mixing it half and half with this grayish just to blend it out more inwards also. But this is how it's looking so far. I'll be blending these two colors next just by mixing them in equal parts as well. 
I've done quite a bit of blending with the background off camera, but I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. I'm going to be adding some details on the butterfly itself now since I've got a pretty good start on the background. So I'm going to start by just adding some blacks throughout this part and then some really light grays and whites on the tip of the wings. Because there are quite a lot of details on my reference here, I just haven't gotten around to adding them yet. I got a pretty good start, I think, on this, um, but I've been painting for so long today that my eyes won't even focus anymore, so I am going to take a break and continue tomorrow. It's now the next day and my eyes actually work again, so I'm going to start by adding some different colors of orange in the wings because towards the center it's lighter. I'm working on adding some more shades of dark gray and then like a greenish gray around the edge just to add some more detailing around the butterfly's wings. I finished that and then I also did a bit more off camera. I added some light grays and um, just more detailing overall with the white and the gray just to try and make it look a bit more realistic. And now I'm going to be taking a dark brown and darkening some of the lines on the wings themselves. All things considered, I think I'm getting pretty close to done. I just need to go through with all the background colors and mix a color that's either slightly lighter or slightly darker, just to make the whole thing look more pixely. I just finished adding all of the details in the background, so I think I'm pretty much done. I might add a couple last minute things, um, but yeah, I will come back once I am 100% done and show you guys the finished product. And here it is completely finished. I'm super happy with the finished result and honestly really proud of myself for making this because it took forever. I will also be offering prints of this on my Etsy. So if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself, be sure to check out the link below. I'm able to ship to the US and do international shipping for most countries, though it does cost a bit more. Um, but yeah, that's an option if you would like to purchase it. Or if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, I also will have a digital download so that you can download a high quality resolution of the image and print it for yourself. But that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!